welcome ladies and gentlemen. This is Zero from TechRagon.info and I'm once again joined by Lola. Good morning, day or night. You forgot afternoon. Close enough. That's day ish. Uh right? shall we meet up in the middle? Uh yeah. Left or right? Or in the middle, middle. Yeah, middle, middle. So we are on let me open up the preview here. Abby, as you can see. And we'll start off in the middle. So I'm on the wrong hand side. Yes, I am. I'll do a full circle and left. yeah, I can never remember. Good job. I always get Ooh. confused. And we're the ones giving people tips. <laughs> no. Um, we'll get a good. Oh, I got through. <laughs> so, but it's basically because I usually don't play scout tanks or fast enough tanks to go through the middle. So I really don't bother with the middle. Well, Ask anything. You I actually don't play this map very often, my type, surprisingly. I dare- wait, 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 wait! I dare I you to get know. through there without breaking it. I know. I've done it. Probably won't be able to now. No. I'll do it. Good job. Ha! So, um, I think this map is semi-unbalanced, because if you are the current green team and you make it up here fast enough, you can go up here and shoot down at everybody in base and leaving base. I'll mm -hmm. go up here and give a overview. Um, yeah, let's see, I can go a little bit further. I don't fall off. So that's where people are going when they're going to the flanks. That is basically inside their base area. I mean, that's their flag. So you can see quite a bit. And that's the other side leaving all the way over there. So yeah, you can see a lot from here. Hey! So a lot of times scouts will be up here in this area, a lot of the times. Um, there's, there's a couple of there. yeah, a couple of corners you can go into and nooks and crannies. The oh, uh, How did we both take damage? Uh, I don't know. Awesome, we I barely hit. Side. Yeah, you barely hit. Kind of. So uh, if you're a small enough tank, you can get away from heavies by doing this. Mm -hmm. It's really evil, but if they're too wide, they can't follow, and you're gone. You're safe. But um, a couple of days ago, I was in—I was actually on this map on this exact tank too, and there was a KV-1 who was sitting up here, and mm -hmm. I tried to get up through. Um, well, where did you go? <laughs> here. Where the hell? Oh, there you are. Okay. So I tried to go through this thing mm -hmm. from the other side, but for some reason I couldn't get through it. It. Huh. My tank was like too fat, but now it, I don't understand. Maybe it's the slope. No, nope. see now it doesn't want to go up. Well, there's Please. a little wall there. Uh, look, there's a little piece of wall there. Mm. If you drive off normally. Mm. Well, look at it. I know, I know, I can see it, but I don't think no. that would stop my tank. Yeah, that's exactly what stops you. Yep, that's Is it. it. Yep. It's the exact same when you run over tracks and stuff. That completely stalls out your tank. It's because it's slightly too high. I actually don't know if you can get through here. No, I couldn't see because of the damn Oh tree. yeah, this was a dead end, I remember. I had to go through oh. here. I was like, no, I want to get to that KV-1 and kill him, but they killed him oh, before me. You can go around here. You'll probably be lit up for the whole enemy team, but you can go through here. No, he was the last one left, so it didn't matter. Oh, you could have gone through here and... I don't know if your turret's high enough. Nope, you, <laughs> you can't shoot over here. But anyways, moving right along. So yeah, that's a lot of times where you'll find light tanks in combination with be careful here not to look at your crap on the tank yet I mean at all mm -hmm. um and this little area here ow whoops do I have enough speed? yes I did Ooh. barely but oh this wasn't a good idea <laughs> so here you can actually cross over to the side flank so that's good to remember. That little spot here is a way where you can cross over from flank to flank. Actually, ew, wrong bit here. Um, if you have enough speed, you can actually get up there. But here you can actually cross in and out of that flank. And if you know that the middle is clear and you're fast enough, you can actually pull out a very nasty maneuver by going all the way around and going up behind them. Mm -hmm. 
which can be very, very effective in taking out an entire flank. So, I guess we'll go to that flank then. And just do a quick uh, drive-by, as it were. Hmm. No. I don't think you can get up here. Nah. No, I was just checking. Help? Yeah, actually. I was just checking. Making sure. Hey, that's what these series are all about, right? Finding all the nooks and crannies of the maps and sharing them with people. And if we find hmm. a new one that we didn't know about yet. So, Mark, this have is... Have you ever seen Artie on that little island? No, actually. I think it's too deep, isn't it? No. Oh, no, it isn't. You could just go straight down here. Huh. I don't think you could get back from it, but... Oh, no, you definitely can't. You definitely <laughs> can't. No way in hell. But yeah, you could be. And if you're on the back side of it, mm -hmm. it'd be difficult as hell to find. Hmm. Gotta remember that one. Not that I play artillery, but if I can't mm. find them... Uh-oh. So... Did I just help the scumbags? No, 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 no. Now we know where to find them. So, this flank. If you're coming from this side, you're gonna move up through here. And you're gonna basically follow the road. There's only one way to go. You have some dead tanks over here that you can use as cover. And then I would suggest you hightail it through here. Because... As you can see there, that's open. That's the other side. And I think there's another little bit of a spot. So what you usually do is you go up here. Where Lola is probably roughly-ish. Around this corner is usually where the fighting will happen. Either this corner or the next one up. Which is this one. And it really depends on what kind of tanks you have and what kind of opposition you have and how fast everybody is and how far you can push up and if there's artillery. Big, big factor. I mean, that's where their flank area is directly. So you're very, very open. So you might even want to consider hugging that wall. So you again, kind of going to have to see how the battle plays out. There's not one perfect way to do that. Artillery just... Way. Have you ever gone down to that watery area? Because I see tanks doing that all the time, but I never actually what, follow on them. The, down here, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think they mainly just do it to get away. Um, you can still get back up. Off to your left there. Just like towards yeah, the I was looking at that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you can totally get back up as well. And again, you can pull off some crazy flanking maneuver with it. If they haven't detected you and they're moving up here, because it might just barely be far enough away from proximity spotting and it won't have a direct line of sight and you can actually go around them so in a very rare occasion you know it might be useful but yeah it's usually just you go die because you get nowhere to go mm -hmm. so by the way the tanks we spotted earlier from the other side so yeah that's how open it is and the same goes for this side of course mm -hmm. now in the back here artillery spot not very often, but they can be, and more than likely, they're gonna be up here. Yeah. Careful you don't get stuck. No. This is a um, pretty widely used artillery spot for one major thing. For starters, you can be behind here and have pretty much anywhere line of sight cover. However... You have bushes over here, always good, but you can also support this line by going out here. As you can see, for this straight part at least, you have no direct line of sight to you. So you can hide here, shoot over that, and actually support your flank till there or there, anywhere basically almost. So it's a very versatile spot where you can control that flank, or help that flank. And you can also just move out of there if it's going to be um, compromised and have a pretty decent escape route because even if they come around the corner, they still can't see you directly. Mm -hmm. More already spots over here. A lot of shrubbery cover. Hey! What? Get out of my cap. Ah, these things on the move is just hilarious. I think we can do this for about 60 hours straight and not hate each other. Anyways, um, more already here, and then be careful going down here. Don't just run; it will kill you. Um, 
no. more artist spots here, but not very often. Um, like, I don't see artillery here very often. But they could, I mean, this is a dent in the back here, so they could be down there or down here. I have seen them, but yeah, not very often. Pretty open. And now we get to what I think is kind of the most important flank. Oh, let me go back to basic rule. Wait. Oops. Thanks. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Hey, I'm back to base. Shoot. Don't you do it. So, what we completely forgot to cover is that the. Road. No, no, no. The, um,. Covering of the base if you're like a TD or a sniper tank or whatever. There's a couple of spots you can take up to um, support the middle basically. So, this obviously is not the side where the middle is open, that's the other side. So, if you stand here, you can support this town and that road while still having hard cover with even a house on top. So, if you pull back here, it's more than likely that Artie won't be able to shoot you. Um, another spot is out over here, where again you can support that flank if need be, you can pull forward and support that one, and you can well, push back or pull back behind hardcover, and then we have the other side here, ah, invader, invader, nah, I won't shoot you. Um, the same You're principle basically applies. You can pull back like behind these bushes here. See this whole road all the way up to their base, and if need be, pull back, and the same goes for the other side here. Um, something else that you see people do. Get my camera through these bushes real quick. Over there, that spot. Those uh, almost. Yeah. That spot, yes. Stand there in the corner in order to shoot people that come through there, and they're relatively safe from Audi. I've seen that as well. It's pretty much a ambush position. So, without any further ado, I guess we go to the flank we were going to about five minutes ago, uh -huh. which I think is probably the most important flank, and I kind of like it the most as well. I think it's the most fun. <laughs> um, well, we'll start off by going I'll take up the high here. Road. You take the low road. Oh. No, no, I think it's important to show this off properly. So, yeah, this is a zigzag back road up here, and it leads to the same flank, but this is a double flank. And this is a spot to snipe at your base. Um, if your tank is tall enough, you have a pretty decent spot here, but my tank isn't. So that's one spot depending on your tank, but you can shoot towards that side. So. Well, if there's something over there, then you have pretty good cover, but over here you can basically shoot anywhere. So keep that in mind, if you're getting shot from this direction, it's more than likely right next to that rock. I just drifted. It was amazing. <laughs> nice. So yeah, this flank, um, like I said, it's a double flank. It has two roads. So you're really gonna have to keep that in mind when you go down here. I'll quickly show the bottom flank here and we'll take the top flank. Bottom flank, not really much to show. Um, you basically have this corner, which should make you relatively safe from artillery. And you can shoot down everywhere and you have... Dum -dum -dum -dum. Depending on how far the battle is, I mean... It's all dynamic, you know, it really depends on where everybody is, what everybody's doing, how far, how far they pushed up, what not. So, this is probably one of the spots where you can semi haul down, and I've actually never been up here. Didn't even know there was something here. Hmm. Nah, I can't get up here. However, I do believe... Hmm, maybe not. I thought you could get up here. If you have enough speed, you actually might be able to. And then it's, if there's no artillery, it's one of the nastiest hold down positions. So. That was my track. Thanks. 
Um, I'm gonna go up to the top flank. Yeah, I'll join you in a second after my track gets fixed. Track Drive on. Nah, I shouldn't shoot you. You're already low health from ramming me. No, that was from. Yeah, sure, I rammed. Mm hmm. See? She admitted it. So, this is the upper road. Again, there's a couple of spots here where Lola is right now where you can shoot at the town. Yeah, it was um, really funny one time I was shooting over here at. It was an M3 Lee that went into the opening and I shot him to crap and he died. And then I think it was like a KV or something that was lowish health and I was shooting at him too and they both went the exact same spot. And I <laughs> think there was also some sort of TD that was squishy as hell. I don't think it was a martyr but something like that. Mm -hmm. So that's the opening <laughs> yeah, where great. we were earlier. It's the top bit there. And then there's a road down there, and a road down there. You can't see the whole road, but you can see bits and pieces of it. So you definitely have some sniping opportunities here if they're in the middle. So definitely keep that in mind. If you hold this ground here, it's a good spot. And some more over here. Same thing applies, basically, and some more over here. So that also um, works both ways, that if they you can see them, they can see you, so watch yep. out. Yeah, it's not very far. You do have some bush cover, but it's not very far, so you're more than likely going to get detected. Um, for tanks with depression and a relatively good turret, right here, you can see you can relatively peek over it without exposing too much of your tank. And if you did, you know, what they see, it's going to be at such an angle, it's going to be hard to shoot at. Go down to the bottom bit, show you where that tank was earlier. That was the one we were looking at down the straights. And this is the corner you can hide behind. It's a nice downward slope, so all we need is elevation, not even depression. Pretty good spot for uh, holding. And yeah, this bottom road is not really interesting, although in the back there, you can get up there and actually do that real quick. What do you want to get up there? Yeah, go up there. Here? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. I have never noticed this before. Uh-huh. Wow. Oh. Yep. Exactly. So, it's not a great spot or anything, but it also depends on where depression. you are. kind of need depression. This one doesn't yeah. need depression. Okay. If you're, like, oh, here. Wait, does. I mean, I can see your front hull right now, but I think I can you can pull back. I can only see, like, the top of your turret. And pull, pull back for it, right? Yeah. So you can take shots. You can pop out, take shots, and just completely dive again. But again, artillery will ruin your day. Probably. As they always do, but we know that. <laughs> so, we'll go take the upper road here, because the bottom is just a corner and loops back into the base. We'll see that from the top. Must resist tracking. <laughs> Aye. So, again here same as the other spots, a sniping spot towards their base. So you can see pretty much the yeah, pretty much the whole area. Um, at least the flat bits. And you can see all the way down there. So you can see quite a bit. And you can go down here of course since we have physics but don't do it too quickly because yeah. So you know if you're getting pinned down here whatever that is a decent escape route. And then we have this hill, um, again, good sniping spots because of all the hard cover you have here. You can just shoot and pull back. And that's about it for getting into the enemy base. I mean, you're right here and you can go through the front or into the back. Um, are these spots <laughs> are back there? You are just hellbent on ramming me, aren't you? Maybe. Down there down here although not very often and not very often down there either more often they will be up here yeah in the back here um let's see yeah, this is a nah, <laughs> you just stop right in front of me i didn't know where you were it's called looking around a situational awareness it's a I have skill no. get it <laughs> so 
So another arty spot would be here just because of all the shrubbery cover. Ow! Hey now. Don't. I'm low health. Hey! What? Oh dang it. Eggs! How did I kill you in one game? Eggs! <laughs> That's the uh, end of this Weenie. map apparently. <sighs> I don't even know how I killed you with that. Because yeah. I'm squishy as fuck. How do you do 70 damage? <laughs> you had like 100 health and this gun only does 70 damage. Whatever. Anyways, we'll do a quick recap here on the map. We were just in the red base, so... Right about here. Where were we? Yeah, we mean were. the green base? Well, for your perspective, not mine. <laughs> red base. So... <laughs> There's two flanks here, so always make sure you have multiple people at the very, very least two, so you have one person covering each road. And make sure they're all clear, so send, basically send one person over here and one here, although usually you can get to this point fast enough so that it doesn't, you know, you can cut it off that they can't go there, but always send somebody over the high road and the low road. Center, I think, is a bit too situational. Um, it depends on what team you start on. One team will get those nice little openings where you can see through and snipe at their base, while the other one doesn't. Um, lately, I'm seeing a trend of a lot of people going through these middle roads. I don't know if you're seeing mm. the same. Yeah. Way too many, if you ask me, and it just gets one big cluster just rush and it. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this screws up. And then they up. get flanked on the sides and lose. Yeah, so. I would say that's a dumb way to go. Sure, send a couple, but don't overdo it because it's not worth it. They're gonna get shot up from every single direction, and usually the game is not one in the middle. From all the games I've played on this map, almost always it's the flanks that wins or loses the game. If you lose a flank, then they have you know free abilities to roam into your base, go behind the middle, um, you know. Losing those side flanks, I think, is way more important than the town. Mm -hmm. But that's just me. Then again, you know, losing any flank is bad. Um, that island for the artillery was back here. This is the single road with the line of fire, like, right there. So always be careful. And that arty spot was in the corner here, so you have basically line of sight on this whole bit and this. And you might be able to shoot, like, right here-ish. But it depends on the arc of the gun. And that about wraps it up, I guess, for mm. Abby. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please subscribe. See you guys next time.